Yeah, cutting that uh, 10 to 0 blast that was unleashed by Barangay Ginebra, stopping the bleeding for the meantime for San Miguel because it still looks like they have to find a way to re energize their offense. Benici is in the ball game for Washington and Antiveros hits his second free throw. 7 27 here in quarter number three. Now the Kings, Salvacion likes it from there. Loose ball picked up. And a fresh shot clock now for Ginebra. Artadi hit one earlier. They leave him open. Artadi nails it. Artadi! Ingris is daring him to take the shot. He points a finger up at Mark Ingris. Well, they were teammates in Beerfus when uh, Paul, Artadi, Paul Artadi couldn't throw a stone into the ocean. <laughs> but uh, Paul Artadi with Baranga Ginebra, a lot of confidence. And he shot that three-point shot a lot better. Alain de Veras uh, with a turnaround shot now. The veteran trying to get his team back. They're down by 16 points. So Artadi has hit uh, three pointers on opposite corners. Let's see, Tobit, double team. They swing it. Now to Artadi, they give him another open shot. Artadi in and out. Maybe he should have stayed in the corner and just taken it from there, but we go back the other way, Custodio, difficult shot from Custodio. Salvacion, no hesitation at all, and he gets the offensive rebound. And, you know, and uh, Sunday Salvacion, that's the second time that he's taken that three-point shot, but it also is the second time that he's gotten the offensive rebound as he's called for stepping into the uh, at the sideline. Well, we talked about Artadi finding the mark and ang TM Tres na ito ay atit sa inyo ng TM, power to the people. Three-pointer for Paul Artadi. And going back to my point, uh, Sunday Salvacion, he's being guarded by Dorian Peña. Although he's missing those three-point shots, Dorian Peña does not like to guard that guy outside and eventually Sunday's gonna make him pay. Artadi was getting ready to go coast to coast. Hacking foul called on Mick Penisi. Good job on the floor, on the hard court for Artadi as JJ Helterbrand checks back in. What a luxury for Helterbrand able to check back in and they have the lead here at 14 points. on Barangay in Ebra's side they're able to almost able to keep it alive but the uh, violation will be called uh, you can see right there San Miguel changing it up to a zone defense because they still want to keep Dorian and Mick on the floor at the same time but at the same time not giving up a matchup deficiency so they're going to try to change up their defense and hope that that, that will uh, you know, give a boost to their offense Antiveros Crosses the middle. He's able to get another foul. And you know, a player like Contiveras can really sense that the other team is in the penalty. So he's going to try to get as many fouls as he can and troop to the line. But although Barangay Ginebra is a smaller team, they're the team that has been bullying San Miguel in this game with uh, their aggressiveness. So I think Contiveras doing the right thing by not allowing himself to get bullied. He's the one guy that has been constantly attacking the basket and that's why he's on the free throw line once more. We have a report on uh, Don Don, uh, Leah. That's right, I have his 2009 plans. Plans for the year on top of that is to stay healthy and take care of his body. Mas maraming bata na magaling, he says, which is good para ma-challenge naman ng mga veterans. How does he plan to do this? Well, basically, work out and eat right. Yes, just like JJ Helterbrand, very similar resolution. Now Don Don loves sweets, even reasoning that. Kailangan ko talaga for energy eh. Back to you guys. Okay, well he's... Uh Let's see if he can try to pull within and get more of that energy to help his team out here. Seems like Leah knows all the plans of our players. Huh? Maybe uh, for our fans out there, you can ask more information from uh, Leah Cruz. 61-49. <laughs> Doesn't point lead here. And Ronald Lupin gets the first. New face on the hard court now. Wesley Gonzalez uh, will check in for the Beermen. Yeah, 
5.07 here in the third. No problem for Ronald Tubit. He's got 11 points. Set up time now for San Miguel. So far, Helderbrand has done a good job on Custodio. Antiveros with five on the shot clock. They go outside. Wesley Gonzalez for three. And he hits it. The coach shot tuck it and going deeper into his bench. Wesley Gonzalez did not play the first game of this quarterfinal series. Finally finds a gem in that bench because so far his bench is being outplayed by the bench of Barangay Ginebra. Well, let's see if uh, Wesley Gonzalez can uh, act as a spark here for the Beermen. Outside shot. JJ will miss. Rebound to Peña and here come the Beermen. 63 to 52. Remember the lead once stood at 18. Now it's down to 11. Custodio. Penetration move. Almost going in, uh, falling in for Custodio. Now it's Helderbrand's turn. Attacking the defense. Nick Benisi looks hurt. So the referees will hot play and Penisi holding on to his wrist. He fell awkwardly on that last uh, defensive play. Well, he probably got hit by uh, when uh, JJ Helterbrand drove to the basket when he tried to draw the charge. What the uh, Barangay Ginebra coaching staff is upset about is that they would have had a potential 5-on-4 situation and the, they would have, uh, because the play was uh, called dead, they lost that advantage. Here's that last play. Nick Penisi standing his ground and then landing awkwardly on his left, uh, wrist, his left wrist. Yeah. Another angle here. Right there. So he's going to get up and easy now. Not too happy uh, with the calls, maybe. <laughs> so he'll be replaced here. Uh, Dynamite Danny will uh, check in. So technical foul will be called here in Coach uh, Shot Duncan Sen. So this is a heated battle between both teams and right now technical uh, free throw will be awarded to Barangay Hinebra. So the, the action uh, continues to pick up here in quarter number three. This has been a long ball game. All those free throws really uh, making this game much longer. Well, here at the PBA, we give our audience more than just exciting action packed games. We give them surprises as well. Like a gift certificate from Mr. Donut for the Dinon family. Maguin and Sarap, Maguin and Saya, only from Mr. Donut. Enjoy na enjoy sila. And we have a lot of fans that have packed up the Cuneta Astrodome here. So game number two of this quarterfinal matchup. San Miguel Beer could end it uh, here tonight and advance to the semifinals while Barangay Ginebra fighting to stay alive and push this to a third game. Salvashon. Now Wilson, they go to Helterbrand, left open momentarily, and JJ with a pitch shot. Three-pointer will up this lead to 15. Right after that three-point shot by JJ Helterbrand, got a signal coming from the uh, referees. Looks like a flagrant foul. 
sympathy against. So we're going to see that replay right after the shot of JJ Heltebrad at the uh, in the rebound battle. The well, referees are going to check it out. Uh, 